top of the time zone to you this is freddy j sports and we're back we're about to play uh tiger woods pj tour 2004 we're doing best ball with some of my buddies here that i've beaten in the northwest world tour we're gonna be at spyglass hills and we're gonna show you the team in a bit I'm Gary McCord for EA Sports. My colleague David Faraday is ready to call the action today, so let's send it down to the first tee. All right. And first on the tee, representing North Carolina, it is me, Freddie J, here with Freddie J Sports. On a clear day, a player can stand on the first tee at Spyglass Hill and see the Santa Cruz Mountains, Monterey Bay, and the canopy of the Del Monte Forest. This hole then falls downhill and to the left, ending on a large greens with waves in it like the ocean. All right, there's your preview. Let's get underway. Try to muscle up on that swing. I am actually using my wrong... Using my wrong controller here. Still got a good drive out of it. Man. 337 off the tee. And here's my uh, tag team partner, Val Sunshine Summers. Two seventy eight. Now on the tee for the other team is John D D D D Daly. Y'all get the point. I'm about to outdrive everybody, ain't I? And his partner. I, I I don't remember where you're from, but you're in Florida now. Uh, Jim Furyk. How is Jim Furyk going to outdrive John Daly? Make it make sense. <laughs> Headed nicely for the green. Okay. That's a good shot right there. I'll tell you what. 27 feet to the pin on and two. Here's Fury. Sunshine Summers. I can't be certain, but this looks like it's heading for the rough. Extended it. All right. It's up to me now. Maybe a little bit too much to the right. Oh, I absolutely smoked that one. Whoops. It's heading for the flag. What a shot Beautiful right there. Shot. Here's Sunshine. He's right on target with this one. Oh, what a shot. Keep going. Now that's what you call being on target.
Uh, could have been better. We could see an eagle here. Ooh, really had a chance here. Burns the edge. All right, three inches right. All right, I trust my caddy. Big birdie right there. Furyk has his sights set on a birdie here. So close. Dang, that was frustrating. Gets his paw. Looking at a big birdie putt here. Sinks the birdie putt. All right. Tied at fours. While relatively short, the second hole at Spyglass plays uphill and is surrounded by trouble, primarily sand and ice plant. Two very precise shots are required to negotiate this classic par four. Man. All right, let's get going. Bang from the black tees today. All right, let's get this next one. That's not bad, but I think it's heading for the rock. Should have put more on it. I goofed. Well, more than a bit, actually. It's in deep rough. All right, sunshine. Here's Daly. All right, another on the fairway. My goodness. All right. 102 yards. Maybe too much. We're on. Here's Furick. Hit this one right on the money, and I think he knows it. Very nicely done. And now here we have Sunshine Summers. We're on the green, and a putt will be upcoming. At least one. I saw the potential. If it hit the green, it probably had a better hop. Now here's Daly, 61 yards out. Oh, that got caught. Hmm. 
Nice to get that one close. What a shot. I'm not sure if I'd like the flag tended or if I'd like somebody to wave it around so I could see where they are. This is miles away. Oh, yeah. Whoops. All right. Yeah, we, we kind of goofed up on this one. Luckily, I have a plan. It's not a real good plan. Ow. This is for birdie. No way we make this. You are kidding me. That's simply amazing. Wow, look at that. We're gonna get another shot at this. The right amount of speed and everything. Thank you, Caddy. Here's Furyk. Nothing too tricky in this one. A readable break and moderate speed. It can be had. Burek misses. Not good at all. A two -putt par. Solid right there. And so it looks like uh, we're going to be up a stroke with uh, sunshine there. And uh, we move on to the third. There's a wonderful view of the Pacific Ocean from this elevated tee, which, in the absence of wind, makes this whole place shorter than its yardage. This green is deceptive, sloping from front to back. All right. Par three up ahead. Let's look what we got here. I don't actually have a club for this. This one will end up on a putting surface. Look at that. Look at that. What a shot. Two feet to the pin. She's in very good shape here. It'll roll off the back right there, but it's fine. Now here's Jim Furyk. Ooh, where is that going? Daily. Fantastic shot. That's right at the hole. That's just a wonderful shot. I win the close approach shot. Fantastic right this there. For birdie. 17 feet. Sunshine's gonna hit this one off the green. Mmm. I like the promise of that. John Daly for birdie. That was for birdie. All right. I gotta match his freak. Drops it for birdie. That's exactly what you need right there. Keeping it crispy. The fourth hole is Robert Trent Jones Sr.'s favorite par four because of its many options. If the hole is in the back of the green, the approach should be played from the right side of the fairway. 
If in front, then the left side is the better angle. The green, which is encircled by ice plant, is Spyglass Hill's most photographed. All right. Just a little juice to get it out there. Big hit right here. That may be a little bit too much, y'all. Not bad, though. All right, we got one on the fairway for 283. Now here's John Daly. I think Daly got a good, good ball for real. Longest drive right there with 308. And now here's Furyk. That looks like a low piercer right there. Yeah, it's on the fairway. That's about it. Here's Sunshine. This is headed for the green. Man, that was a good look. Now it's going to roll away. There's an Fuhrer. This looks good. Should be safely on the green. I think that's a good placement right there. Still going to roll away. decision and uh, now it's time to suffer the consequences I hate this game I thought I would have a little bit more power but I guess uh, the rough was too thick right there you should be happy with this approach well that's gonna be a tough uh, putt going downhill on a slope like that smart and that was just plain dumb all right let's try that again well i am out of contention today the birdie will help at least with this one it usually does Can you believe this? No way. Whoa. Sunshine with the save. Wow. Mm. And that's coming back. Oh. Was in. Here is Daly. Just a bad read on this one. Hold on. That was a crazy putt, but it had potential. I saw the vision on that. 
Don't let the don't let these commentators uh, tell you anything different. If this one goes in, it's par. Converts his par. Amazing. Up two strokes. The fifth hole at Spyglass Hill is a straightforward par three, framed by ice plant in back and three pot bunkers in front, the center being the deepest and most difficult on the course. Another bunker is hidden from view and awaits stray shots to the right. All right. Sunshine's going to lead us off today with the only birdie on that last hole. Well, we're in the bunker, I'm afraid. I saw the vision there, but it didn't have a little bit of up on it. You, you, you did all that for a two iron? There's the two iron. All right, let's bring it back. We missed it. Here's Jim Furyk. All right, so it looks like John John Daly is going to be the only one on the green. Wait a minute. Is he not on the green? I thought he was. It looked like it was. Oh, he's his oh, one off with who? Way past the hole. Man. Yeah, Here's Jim Furyk now. Just barely went into the bunker. Now that's close. Really close. That's a good four feet. Now Sunshine's turn. Tell us about this putt. Oh wait, never mind, it's mine. It's gonna be a big swing. What? Straight in? No way. That caddy lied to me. Uh, I want pack. I want pack. Hey, her club touched the sand. That's a stroke. Oh, I like that approach. <laughs> Sunshine, my goodness. She's showing out right now. Sunshine really showing out right now. Three stroke lead now. The character of Spyglass Hill changes from the sixth hole onward. From the tee, players wind their way up and into the Del Monte Forest. The view from behind the green is spectacular. However, the severely downhill chip shot from this position is less than desirable. Okay. Inverted Laura Croft out here. All 
All right, it's my turn. Whoa. This looks good. Right down the middle. Oh yeah, that's gonna be all right. And Daily barely beats out Sunshine. I don't think so. I think he's going to like the result here. Wow. What a shot, David. Ice in the veins right there. This won't make the green. David Faraday? Okay, uphill approach. Sometimes easier to get the ball up in the air, but also easy to leave it short. All right, 110 yards. Should be safely on the green. I think so. Not the best shot, but it's 10 feet. It's looking good. Ooh, it's looking really good. Couldn't Man, any we had this hole surrounded. Sunshine. Pull the wedge here. Sunshine. Been on it. The crowd is going wild for that. Man, still a three-stroke lead. An elevated tee makes the seventh hole a reachable par five. While there are no greenside bunkers, a pond penalizes anything left and short. The right to left sloping green makes chip and pitch shots even more troublesome. This is a tempting hole off the tee, but it requires complete precision from the fairway. Sunshine is cooking right now. Three straight birdie. Three oh six from Sunshine. of this one it's just fine and that should do the trick
Looks like the next shot will be from the rough. Coming down in the lawn, I believe. Pure Exxon, 31 feet left. Here's Sunshine with 242 left. That is a good punch. That's definitely going to creep a little bit. What a landing. 19 feet. Close as yet. David Faraday? Well, I've had a good look at this one, Gary, and it's a little under 240 yards and a very tough shot. Oh, that's a hard bounce. Man. I, maybe I should have punched it. Here's Daly. Get out the putter. This is on the green. Not dead on the stick by so I'm the only one off. Uh, made the green. It's respectable. Man, that didn't really go anywhere. Jim Furyk will pick up an eagle here if he gets this one to drop. Nope. Ah, oh, this looks good. Here's sunshine. What a birdie. Big John Daly for an eagle. This will bring us. Bring Daly within one of us. Ooh. That has to hurt. That was close. Man. Jim Furick for birdie. That's what you want. Nice birdie. Ooh, birdie, birdie, birdie. Still three stroke lead. The eighth hole is perhaps the longest hole under 400 yards in the world. The second shot is even more uphill than the tee shot. The green is elevated and crowned with a hole's only bunker protecting its right side. This is Spyglass Hill's number one handicap hole, and it plays like it. My team currently seven under. So far, so good.
All right, here's Daly. Oh yeah, he likes his driver. What a drive. Man. Six iron is an interesting choice here. Ah, you've got to love that. That's fantastic. All right. Here comes a six iron. Ooh, what a shot. Well, a real chance of going in the hole. I wouldn't call this a crime. Well, maybe a misdemeanor. This should find the green. Oh man, that's a little bit too far off. Certainly picked the right club on this one. Man, they have this hole surrounded. Absolutely perfect shot. Something you're completely unfamiliar with before. All right, my turn. Baby. Come on, get there. Oy, what a tease. Converts his paw. <laughs> Here's Sunshine. Handle the pressure there to sink that birdie putt. I don't think that's even PG. Daily with a birdie attempt here. And to polish it off. That's your birdie. All right. Three strokes a bet. The inward hole in the front nine at Spyglass Hill is yet another uphill par four. A massive green, the second largest on the course, is guarded by deep bunkers. The tremendous slope from back to front makes putting from above the hole an unenviable task here. Here's Sunshine. Sunshine's low-key carrying me right now. I don't know how I'm supposed to feel about that. I might have slipped on that. Looks good. This one is just pure down the fairway. Really long. Yeah. Here's Jim Furyk now. Oh, they almost touched balls right there.
This will end up in the green. Oh man, here we go. Oh, that's looking good. Oh, it slowed it down. Sunshine puts it within 13 feet. Here's Jim Furyk at 150. Oh, this really looks good. Oh my goodness. I'll tell you, there's no flies on that. What a shot. Here's my opinion, even if you didn't ask for it. Go for the A down. Come on, turn that back. Man, I'm not doing so good right now. And here's Daly. Great shot. He's got to be pleased by this. We just witnessed a truly remarkable shot. I wouldn't say I haven't been doing a great job either. Like, I did have me a long putt that I clutched out. It's just a matter of can I do it again? That's the big deal. Oh, that looked promising too. We'll take the par. But can Sunshine make a birdie? For 13 feet, she's been hot right now. Hmm. Ooh, unlucky there. And looks like that streak's gonna end. She's happy to get out of here with a par. This is a birdie putt. They just need one putt to go in for birdie. Bravo! That's a well played birdie. Now, our lead has shrunk to two. And that's our first par. After two tough, lengthy uphill par fours close to the front, this is a downhill getaway hole to begin the back nine at Spyglass Hill. A drive down the left side may be blocked by a tree which can't be seen from the tee. Any approach which lands past the center of the green will likely bounce over. All right, Jim Furyk now will have the honors for the first time. All match. Cool, 276. Now John Daly got it. Hmm, I don't like this one. That is not going to be in the short stuff. Somehow was able to dodge a tree, uh, so like that's a good house. opening. I kind of want to go over there just to see if I could hit hit that shot. I'm really wondering how PG that is. All right. I slipped off. This one's heading right. Wow. Three oh nine. Love to see it. Daily. 
really into the thick of it. Ugh. Yeah, that'll make it a little tougher. It's in the tall stuff. Bro really kicked the camera, didn't he? Bringing out a nine iron. Oh, look at this. Should be a what a shot. Five one. feet. Here is the fury of Furic. What's it look like, David? Yeah, right on, I want to say about a hundred yards. Here's a good one. Should be on the front. All right, sticks to landing there. Great shot. Simply wow. Right there. Remarkable. All right, for Birdie. Straight in. I believe it. John Daly putting for par. I don't think that shot matters. Jim Fuhrer got one for birdie. Oh, that was a par. All right. The 11th at Spyglass is a dogleg right par five that is reachable in two for those daring enough to cut the corner over the trees. The hole is characterized by a necklace of bunkers protecting the right side of the green. While beautiful to observe from a distance, these bunkers are very costly to play from. Ah. This tee shot should give him a lot of confidence. I slipped. Here's Daly. Hmm, a little fade right there. Here's Furyk. Uh oh. That's in the sand. Here's Daly. Right on target. What a shot. <laughs> 
10 feet to the pin. Here's Sunshine. Going for it now with the eight degree driver. Mm, I don't think that's going to get there. David? Okay, we're about 220 yards away here, Gary. Mm. This is on the green. I don't like how it's going away from the hole, though. Very well executed. Now, now we're putting for eagle. Here is Furick in the sand. Barely crept on. It's makeable, Gary. The right speed and the right line, and you got it. Ha! Huh. Yes. That'll usually work. Here's Furick. Three feet short. Here we go. Fade away, jump shot. It dropped for an eagle. And we got the eagle, baby. Going for eagle on this par five. Daily to match. Just a routine down and in. Go get it. It's in. All right. Water comes into play on three of the next four holes, starting with a par 3 12th. The left side of this green should never be a target since balls have a tendency to spin off into the pond. If the pin is tucked back left, aim for the middle of the green and walk away with a two putt par. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. I, 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 I hear you. That's a good look. It's on. It's okay. 10 feet from that spot is tough, so I'll take it. Looking good. Headed for the green. Is Sunshine gonna do better? I kind of like that shot. Two feet back, but still on. Here's Daly. Six feet to the pin. Here's the Fury of Furic. This one's knocking on the door. All right, we had this hole surrounded. Doesn't get much better than that. Sunshine for birdie, 12 feet. This one's pretty stock here. Put a good stroke on it. Got a good chance of making. All right. Here is Jim Furyk with an eight feet putt. The match. And 
And it goes in. All right, still three strokes ahead of John and Jim. The 13th fairway rises steadily uphill as it bends slightly to the left. Another elevated green deflects any offline shot, although a straight run-up shot will work effectively here. All right, your sunshine's gonna lead us off today on this hole. snap about to take a step back and hit it I think he knows he put this one right where he needs to be yep that got to be 300 or at least 290 yep now here's Jim Furyk now daily Here's Jim Furyk. That was very close to catching the rough. Look at these punch shots. Crying not is quite. Not the answer. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> That's not going to help. Here's John Daly. That's Break. left. I think it's heading for the rough. I don't think he was looking for the salad bar, but uh, that's what this lie resembles. All right. Nothing wrong with this approach. Come on. Look at that. Nothing wrong with that. Oh my goodness. One foot to the pin. Pure for birdie of 10 feet out. That one drops in the hole. Tell me, David. Well, All right. I'll tell you more after the stroke. Can I read it then? Oh. 
Oh, this one is just uh, man. Yeah, frighteningly bad. That was frustrating. Makes his part. Man. All right, two stroke lead now after my choke. The 14th hole at Spyglass Hill is a double dogleg par five swinging right and then left. A pond protects the right side of this shallow but very wide green. A difficult chip awaits those who are too aggressive and go long. All right, daily now. This one is smashed right down the middle. All right, it's my turn now. Here's sunshine now. All right. All right. That's got to be a good punch right there. So close to making it. That's a good tease. All right, Jim Furyk now. This is a par five, by the way. Well, I think this one will be on the dance floor. Looks like we got a couple layups here. Should have a good chance from there. Oh, sunshine hitting the pin from the top rope. My goodness. Not shabby, not a great shot, but we're putting. All right, here's Daly. That one just barely creeps on. This putt for Eagle. I'm putting off the green because you know how we do. I don't know if this is going to be a good putt, though. Well, given the circumstances, I think that'll be okay. Furick for Eagle. 
This is 41 feet. I highly doubt he got this in his bag. This one needs to slow down. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. Well, uh, we're gonna have at least one more putt here. This is for birdie. If sunshine hits a 20-foot birdie, my goodness. I had a chance to roll back, too. She's got the car. I still have the chance to birdie. Don't worry. Hey, John Daly for a birdie. It's 15 feet out, so... And that one will miss. Jim Furyk to still birdie. Finds the cup for a birdie there. All right. It's up to me to match. Look at that birdie. Nicely done. That was scary. Still with a two stroke lead. The 15th is the shortest hole on the golf course, but it's far from the easiest. The green is framed by bunkers in back and a pond in front. Shots with spin can end up in the water and anything left bounces down a steep hill. All right, the team of Furyk and Daly currently 11 under right now. This one is hunting for the flag. Oh my, it really was. Oh, can you believe it? Five feet to the pin. That is a masterclass right there. All right, Daly, you're up. He knows this is a good shot. All right. Close. Really close. Yeah, we should be putting now. All right. Sunshine. To finish us off. Don't be surprised if this one hits the flag stick. Oh, she you hit one before. I mean, you, McCord, you can't do it better than this. All right, four putts for birdie coming up. Solid effort is all you need here. This one is quite makeable. But not for daily. Oh, it just burns the edge. This isn't out of your range. You can do it. All right, we can finish this one. That's a birdie. All right, we got one. Here's Furyk here. And that's a nicely played birdie there. Amazing. Still two strokes ahead with three holes left. This is probably one of our longest golf videos yet. The drive on the 16th must be aimed left to avoid the trees on the right side of the fairway. A long second shot must avoid a deep bunker on the left side and a steep slope on the right that deflects errant shots into greenside hazards. It's getting rough out there. Oh, it hit the tree too. Ooh. Here's Daly. That one was a better shot. T 
to 75. Let me aim for this tree. A rough break. No pun intended. I don't think so. Not today. Well, not too emotional there, even though that was a spectacular shot. Here's sunshine. I will take the longest drive here. For the seven iron now. I'm just surprised that those two balls are together like that. Pause. Second shot for Sunshine. I think that's a three wood. Ah, uh, bad bounce there. All right, I had the potential to get this one real close. Fierce Furic. I don't think that's gonna cut it. Fifty-two feet. I'm the only one that was able to cut that corner. This one's fine to green. Right, let me uh, put some to spin the other way on it. I goofed up on it. Gotta be the closest one out of everybody. Eight feet to pin. Couldn't have planned it any better. What a shot. Well, that was from far away. I'm not surprised it didn't make it, but I'm proud of that putt. That was beautiful. Looks like that one didn't want to break either. You probably knew that. All right. David Faraday. This one needs a little room to the right, Gary, and it'll come back nicely. Okay. Yes, Man. I think I see what you're trying to do here. Not. We're just gonna walk away from that like that. Rude. Yes, it's Paul. That Man. This for par. We can have us ourselves a bogey free round if uh Daily hits this. All four of us. Solid par. All right, with two to go. It's 
all coming down to this. The 17th of Spyglass Hill offers a change of pace and is unlike any other hole out here. Neither the landing area from the tee nor the green surface from the fairway can be seen. The hole's many bunkers and a sloping green offset the short yardage. Above the hole here is just treacherous. hit it hard unfortunately it's heading right for the bunker that tree caused a lot of the problems there <laughs> here's fear now right where he wanted it what a threat the needle on that one well not too emotional there even though that was a spectacular shot If y'all like this kind of content, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe too, by the way. I really appreciate it. Comment who you think is going to be the MVP of this best ball match right now. Oh, a real miss hit there. In one bunker and into another. Sunshine, 49 yards out. The second shot. The pitching wedge from here. Oh, that's a good look. Oh, what a shot! He did say, uh, above the hole with his searches. Going with the pitching wedge here. Hmm. Nothing wrong with that. Nice shot, old chap. All right. Daly in the bunker again. This is a weird squat he's doing. Ooh. Beautiful shot. Eight feet for birdie. Gotta be happy with that, though. Gets it done. Gotta be happy with anybody. All right. To save the team, Jim Furyk, a two-foot birdie. Ooh, wow. This is not his best effort. I, I see a what was supposed ball. to happen, and it didn't happen. And I'll take the par there. And now with a three-stroke lead as we head on to the final hole. Forgive me if I'm a little bit quiet. Uh, it's currently 11:19 uh, right now while I'm recording this. The 18th tee points toward the right fairway bunker, so a slight right-to-left trajectory is perfect. An elevated green with a ridge separating front from the back awaits the second shot. Any dodgy-looking second shot will probably be detoured into the surrounding trouble. See how this plays. Oh, she got to be happy about finding the shade there. Okay, I see with a flick of the wrist. Hmm, 
I don't like that one. This should work out nicer. Three oh five, look alive. Nice swing, but it looks like the ball is going right. Right into the rough. Tiptoeing that line. And finally found it. It was trying so hard. Oh, that one beats me. Sunshine, 138 yards out now. Oh, that's knocking at the door. That got to. Ooh, just shy. Here's Jim Furyk now, 129 yards as well. This looks like a beauty. It's right at the flag. Clubbed up on that one. Simply splendid right there. Remarkable. Man, neither of us are on. Daily to join Jim on the only ones on the fairway. As they take the final walk onto the 18th, Sunshine is 17 foot birdie. Looking at a big birdie putt here. And this big birdie putt will be for the match. Looking to walk away with birdie on this hole. To put it within two. Mr. Ferdy, what do we have? Not a lot of difficulty here, Gary. You know, it's an easy game. Read it, hit it, hope for the best. And Daly finishes off with a birdie here to make it 13 under for the group. What's this? And you're looking at a bogey. Sunshine to win the match at four feet. Ooh. Ooh. Not a good shot. Sunshine for bogey. Can't be happy with a bogey there. That's rough. This is for far. This is actually the save. And for the match. You're and we got it. Today. Great putting. And that will win the match there. Fewest putts in the round. And looks like the team of Freddie and Sunshine beat Daly and Furick two strokes ahead with a 57 59. Appreciate everybody for coming out here. Thank you so much for tuning in to another edition of Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2004. And as always, I'm Freddie J. Y'all have a good day and a better tomorrow. Until next time, we'll see ya.